Hey guys, this is Steve Darcy, Go Engineer. And don't you hate when you open up the fridge and you just have a pile of Coke cans or bottles or whatever, and you want to do something about it? Well, now you can. All you need is SolidWorks and a 3D printer. So I've modeled up a little wine rack, and uh, all you have to do is put it together. It does take a couple components, uh, three actual components. And if you do it right, then it makes it pretty simple. So let's start out with uh, some quick little modeling. So I've got a uh, part file, and just like every part, you start out with a 3D sketch, or a 2D sketch. And uh, uh, what I did is I kind of uh, measured some of the outside of some of the bottles to make sure that I had a little bit more than what the actual bottle is. So I put uh, smaller ones on the top and bigger ones on the bottom, um, and then just extruded the thing. So made it pretty simple. I also made sure that I had enough room in the fridge to uh, to actually hold these in the right locations. Um, and then just to kind of go down through the different features, I started uh, getting rid of some material uh, just so we get a little bit more uh, airflow inside the refrigerator. And also it uses less material on the 3D printer. So I kind of cut out just along the outsides of these, uh, put some fillets in to just make it look good, mirrored it to the other side, did another cut by doing some offsets um, on the outsides of those and doing some trimming on the sketches. And then again, some fillets to make it look pretty. Uh, fillets on the top and then some chamfers on the inside and out just to give it a nice little uh, appearance. So that's the main part of the wine rack. Uh, let's take a look at some of these guys. Uh, pretty simple. I really just started off again with a 2D sketch and I did an offset of the outside. I actually projected the uh, the shape that I had and then did an offset of uh, 14 thousandths and then that gave me uh, what I need for a clearance in between both of those. Uh, and pretty much I'm going to glue them together so want to make sure that it, it looks pretty good. Uh, then I just did a uh, an extrude the full thickness or the distance that I want the uh, uh, the outside of the first part to the outside of the last part and then uh, did another boss extrude. So I got the little center center part right there. Then did a nice little chamfer on the edges on both sides. Did a little cut extrude. Uh, pretty much just sketched on the back face and drew some circles. Did a cut extrude through all. Uh, and then some chamfers just on those to make them look kind of cool. So pretty cool. Uh, the last little part is the smaller one. He just needs to be in the little corner there. Uh, the only tricky part about him, so pretty much use the same type of uh, technique for the first one, but on this one I did have a little bit of a, I thought it was a flat plane, but it, it is an arc condition on there. And I can pretty much tell when I pick on it, I can't do a new sketch on it, so I know that it's not flat. So I had to create a plane. Uh, this one was pretty simple though. The plane I just selected on two edges. So I picked on that top edge and that bottom edge, created a flat plane, and then on the plane, drew three circles, uh, did a cut, and then of course chamfered the, the circular cuts, make them look good. So it didn't take too long to put this thing together. I'd say probably, uh, probably less than 30 minutes to model the whole thing up. And then of course, we can explode it or contract it, put it back together, collapse it. And uh, just put some glue inside there, 3D printed them out, and voila. We have a nice clean fridge. We're able to put the wine racks and everything. Everything looks nice and organized, and it's good to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and keep modeling. Thanks.